Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. Today I'm really excited to show you a new tool that I have. And this tool allows you to copy and paste your layered files, flat vector graphics, Photoshop files, anything into a Photoshop document, make it look like it's printed on t-shirt fabric, and add texture that'll make your graphic look like it came from a thrift shop. So the tool I have is called Thrift Shop, and it's a PSD file. But first, I'm gonna take this logo that I made in Adobe Illustrator, and then just copy, and then I've opened up Photoshop here. And when you open up the Photoshop document, you'll notice there's two layer groups and two bottom layers. And the very top layer group is called Fabric Overlay. And what this is are different fabric textures that all have a different wrinkle pattern. And the reason these are useful is because when you're mocking all these things up, if you put them in all in the same portfolio and they all have the exact same wrinkle patterns, it's gonna look fake. So here you've got um, actually 11 fabric overlays, one that's just flat um, that doesn't have any wrinkle to it. So if you, if you really wanna go clean, you can do that. I'm going to pick fabric overlay four, and now I can just collapse that layer back, and I'll show you the layer group below that. It's called paste your art in the bottom of this layer group and turn on visibility of texture layers. Sorry that's a long name, but I figured that's the best way to show people how to use this. And I just expanded that layer group and you'll notice a bunch of different textures and they all have uh, little color keys here on the left side. But what you wanna do is go to the bottom of that where you see the red layers and just select one of those and hit Command V and you can paste in your graphic as pixels or as a smart object, doesn't matter. Um, and your graphic can be multicolored, it can be one color, it could be a photograph, doesn't really matter. It can even be a flat image that's say on like an orange background. Um, as long as you're okay with keeping that orange background, um, it's gonna look really great. But this graphic has no background on it. So I'll just paste it in here. And the first thing you'll notice is it doesn't really look good on blue. That's okay because we can change the fabric color. Um, the second thing you'll notice is you might see some uh, texture on there, and I'll tell you about that in a second. First, let's just make it look good. So I'm going to go to that bottom, that very bottom layer, and it's called Shirt Color, and just go Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation, and I'm going to turn the saturation down to zero and just take the lightness down so it looks like a, like a charcoal or really dark shirt. Um, I'm going to hit OK. And all of a sudden it looks better. Uh, but back to the texture. Let me turn all the texture off to show you what it looks like. And this essentially is what our Illustrator document looked like. I'll just flip back to that. Um, the only difference is you notice the fabric texture over top. So what I've done is I'll have my favorite textures automatically turned on when you open this file. So you can keep those, and the awesome thing about this is you can use any combination of these textures. So you can layer them up, so each of your graphics is gonna look different. Um, you can even move around the textures if you'd like. I am going to just keep adding until it looks really good. So these top orange layers, I call them fabric textures or, or plastisol textures actually. And what Plastisol is, is it's the ink that you know, on a vintage shirt gets cracked. That's why it looks vintage. Um, you know, back in the 80s, 70s, whatever, every single shirt was pretty much printed with Plastisol ink. So when you throw it in the, in the washer, it gets stretched, all that ink cracks. Um, I got a few other really light fabric overlays. So if you want to zoom in really close and, and have these look really just dialed in, 
that's what that's what you want to turn on. Um, I've got some novelty textures here, um, a book cover from just an old vintage book I actually found on the, down the street on the curb, and um, just some fabric overlays, um, even a denim that adds like kind of a nice texture. You don't really associate it with denim. It just looks like a distressed texture. And I've also got some other awesome novelty textures in here uh, from my bad photocopy series on the Vector Lab. So when you get this template, you actually get all the, these textures built in for free. I've got cutting board, which is kind of the cutting board you use when you cut paper with an X-Acto. Uh, just has a really nice effect. Um, I've got some analog halftones in here, scanned out of a uh, magazine from the 50s. And so that's about it. Um, but what I'm going to show you now are some more tricks. So you've seen how that looks with my thrift store logo. And again, the graphic is independent of the texture, uh, which is really nice because you're not locked into anything. You can just turn on and off visibility, move things around. It doesn't mess up your graphic at all. Um, let me show you another graphic I've got. Um, I've got this surfer guy on a transparent background. Um, so I'll just copy that layer, Command C, and I'll paste him right in there and bam, there's your vintage textures ready to go. We could be done, but there's one more thing. Uh, let me open up Vector Labs logo here. And this is a vector image. Go Command C and then open up our Photoshop document again. And this one I'm going to paste in as a smart object just to show you you can. Um, and I'm going to hit OK. And again, our textures are in there looking really good. So the one last thing that I want to show you is how to warp your graphic to the shape of the fabric. So let's go back into our fabric overlays and pick one that has some nice wrinkle to it. Um, you'll see this, this fabric overlay one has got a nice like horizontal wrinkle to it. There's some in here. So now that that's visible, I go back to the graphic layer, highlight it, go filter, distort, displace. And I think horizontal scale 30 and 30 works well with this resolution file, but feel free to play around with those numbers. You know, you could go as high as 40 or 50 if you want it really warped. You could go down to 10 if you want it really subtle. I'm going to hit OK. And the key here is you want to select the corresponding displacement map. So our fabric layer was layer one. So I will pick overlay one. Um, that way it's going to warp our graphic to the same fabric. So if you notice here where the wrinkle is, the graphic inside the graphic and on the edge warps to the shape of those wrinkles, which is really nice. If you really want to get technical, you can go in uh, to your liquify filter and, and push pixels around, but I think this looks pretty good. It even looks good without it. And the, <laughs> I keep saying one more thing, but there is one more thing. So let me undo that just to get our graphic uh, nice and perfectly uh, circular again. And the cool thing about these is not only can you mock up your portfolio for Behance or Dribble, or if you're trying to get a job or you're trying to sell a t-shirt graphic to someone, but if you're getting your graphic printed, uh, these textures are also high resolution enough where you can use this to, to set up your graphics for screen printing. And really the only thing you need to do is turn off that fabric overlay. So now you've just got it on a flat image and your screen printer can go in and make separations uh, off of this file. So there you go, super easy. 
Uh, check out the high resolution images I've got. There's a link below the video. Hope you like Thrift Shop.